The Miami Police Department, former Chief John Timoney, lost his battle with cancer last night. He was 68 years old. Our senior political reporter, Michael Putney, knew Timoney well. He joins us live from the newsroom with more. Janine, John Timoney was an outstanding cop and a complex, interesting man. He was brought here to straighten out the Miami PD, and he did. You're not going to dominate this. He was the classic Irish cop with a prizefighter's face and a professor's intellect. Current Miami Chief Rudy Yanis tweeted today, We lost one of the great police thinkers of our time. I will miss you, Chief Timoney. Thank you for all you did for us. You don't need 35,000 people. You need 500 to 1,000 hardcore, and you get your hands filled. Timoney was tough, street smart, and wouldn't take guff from anybody, including the Miami Police Union. They once gave him a vote of no confidence. He wasn't always well liked by his troops. He was always respected. Uh, the principal is worth more than money. Mayor Manny Diaz brought Timoney to Miami in 2003, stood by him through thick and thin. Thick included the Free Trade Area of the Americas Conference, which attracted hundreds of anarchists. Timoney coordinated the police response from the front lines on a bicycle. The city was spared damage. Many protesters and innocent onlookers were not. You know, when I looked, and I wasn't paying attention, dumb of me, I'll say it right now. Timoney got into hot water when he used a luxury SUV for free, but called it a mistake and bought the car for sticker price. John Timoney was a complex guy, a man of many parts. He used to row every morning on Indian Creek on Miami Beach. He was a great storyteller and an avid reader. In fact, he had his top staff read Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment, and then they talked about it. Timoney resigned when a new mayor was elected in 2010. He went on to become a successful security consultant. He came home to be treated for lung cancer. Personal note now, I once did a story about Timoney that got him so angry, he ordered me and my boss to come down to Miami Police Headquarters. We did, and he unloaded on us for about 10 minutes straight, a tremendous tirade. But once it was over, we shook hands and went back to being friendly antagonist. I'll miss him. Janine Calvin, back to you. And I will too, I must say. I had many uh, dealings with him, uh, Michael, and he was an exceptionally nice man. Tough.